welcome to Life and Liberty Radio with David Householder. I'm Josh Jose, and together you and I are taking another step toward freedom, both spiritual and political. So get comfortable, breathe in, and ignite your imagination. Envision a society that is spiritually deep and truly free. It's easy if you try. I'm here with Gabe and Alyssa Baltadano, and we are at CrossFit. We're in an industrial area on Gothard Street in Huntington Beach, and there's trucks and car repair places all over the place, and we're in this very cool place called CrossFit, which is kind of new to me. I've never been in one of these places before, and I just, just want to ask you guys, like, how did you get interested in this whole kind of new wave of fitness stuff? Uh, well, about 2000. 2007 um, I was working in law enforcement and one of the guys I, I worked with uh, kind of introduced it to me as a different way of keeping in shape and when he described it to me I was uh, I was I pretty much told him he's crazy um, there's no way I could do any of that and uh, and that was that I'm going to continue doing you know whatever my typical workout was that I would do from playing sports in college and things like that. So I felt pretty confident in what I was already doing. And then he just slowly would keep bringing it up or mentioning things. And eventually I, I decided, okay, I'll give it a shot. And, um, went to, uh, went to his gym and, uh, tried it out and was getting lapped by his wife and his at the time. And you're a pretty fit guy, so... Uh, at the time, yeah. At the time, you know, being in law enforcement, being an A-type personality, um, you know, take charge and, and all that kind of stuff, I was, I was getting lapped by a 16-year-old girl and her mom, and they were, you know, cheering me on and, you know, encouraging me. Keep going. So it was a big, bitter pill to swallow in terms of ego, but kind of the light went on, and, you know, you come to a realization that based solely on the job that I did, I could be required to do something at a moment's notice that that was very intense. That was very, and at that time I was I was ill prepared to to take. That so this on. is like a more holistic health thing rather than just work out one part of your body or something. So you could be yeah. ready. You could be ready for any kind of strenuous situation. Is the whole idea? Yeah. So one of CrossFit's mantras is preparing you for the unknown and the unknowable. Um, that's why it has a huge popularity with law enforcement, firefighters, and military, and that's. I think we're initially had its, um, I guess, explosion of interest, if you will, and, and, and the founder of it was basically giving it away online. So it was accessible um, and it was practical for those lines of work. And then people started realizing that the benefits out of doing the workouts um, were equal to uh, your soccer mom, your grandmother, your grandfather, as it was to an elite athlete or a military officer. Human bodies are human bodies, mm-hmm. and they all exactly. kind of react in kind of a kind of a similar way. Now, Alyssa, when you first had this idea to like start a business and stuff, you were thinking like, um, I wasn't thinking about it actually at all. Um, a dear friend of ours approached us with the idea and um, had asked Gabe what he would like to do with his life and he said I'd like to open a gym and he said okay let's do it so he blessed us and helped us with it and this so is this Gabe's is a baby. big adventure so yes and you just jumped right in and here we are did the whole thing you had a couple of kids yes Jake and Jordan and how yep. old are they 13 and 10 and yeah, I see they're around here kind of a family business I suppose in a way Definitely. yes um, Jordan has recently been recruited for some babysitting for um, some of the uh, members, younger uh, younger uh, kids, then their parents want to work out and kind of not have to interrupt their workout, and so that's going to be uh, something that she's going to start doing this summer. And then during the during the summer, mostly the kids come and help out, and then during the school year, they participate in our kids' classes that we have um, periodically throughout the year. So so they're involved, but. Um, a majority of the time, I'm here, and then and then Alyssa fills in um, when she can because she still is, uh, uh, has another job as a preschool teacher, but she's also certified in CrossFit Kids, which is um, focused on a younger age group of 
of cross. So, Gabe, what's your fitness, fitness background? Were you like in sports and stuff? And yeah, so I um, been involved in athletics all my life. I um, played uh, soccer, baseball, um, football, basketball in high school. Uh, club soccer. Uh, traveled abroad. Played soccer um, in Europe. Um, before my senior year in high school and graduated and then went to college. Uh, I played uh, baseball uh, in college and I played football in college um, for four years. Um, football and only one year of baseball I decided to focus on football. So I've been around athletics, you know, majority of my life involved in them. So there's a way of staying with it. There's a vocation which is kind of cool. Now you talk about military and police and fire and that kind of deal. And I've noticed there's a lot of entry requirements that are pretty strenuous at the beginning, but then they kind of let that slide. I see a lot of all of the above my age, and they're really terrible shape. It seems to me that something like this would really help to kind of keep people in shape because a lot of them get disabilities and things because they don't stay in shape. Yeah, I think it's common. I, I think I was experiencing the same thing myself, and that was uh, six years ago. So even at 32, I was deconditioned. Um, more so than than I needed to be to, to do my job effectively and and ultimately you know the goal of all those jobs is is to come home safe to your family and so again that whole mantra pre- being prepared for the unknown and unknowable that's what they have to deal with on a daily basis and becoming deconditioned because there may not be a physical requirement uh, in the military there are PFTs or their physical performance tests that they have um, but again the standards of those um, people may meet the bare minimum, but that may not um, translate well to performance in their duties as well as they could perform. Um, so, yeah, there's there's definitely a, a a tendency for life and kids and stress and all those other things to get in the way. On top of, at least I can speak for law enforcement, poor eating habits, shift work, working late at night. Um, the availability of food at 2 in the morning is pretty limited. There's usually 24-hour places with bright neon signs, and they usually don't have the best quality food. It tastes great, you know, <laughs> but uh, not the best for you. So that kind of life um, or that kind of job, you know, uh, military as well, isn't always conducive to the best eating habits, the best sleeping habits, and all those things come into play when you're talking about your overall health and, and well-being. So, yeah, that's, 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 I, I just noticed that trend of people aging and they kind of let it slide. They let themselves go in those professions, which is kind of too bad. And Alyssa, there's a, the name Redemption, where does that come from? Um, that would be Gabe's area. Um, because there's CrossFit this, there's CrossFit that, you know, and people Yeah, get, there's a, there's a lot of different names and I think, um, Redemption has a personal meaning for our faith um, as Christians, um, yes. and and a big part of God being in our life. But then it also, um, I think, carries over and has a meaning for non-Christians alike. And that's um, on our website. We, you know, we put we believe that everybody has redeeming qualities, and obviously, God sees our redeeming qualities um, in us so much that He sent His Son to die for us. But As an individual, you know, people may feel down about themselves because of their weight, because of their lack of fitness, because of these physical reasons, um, you know, and over time they've manifested themselves in their lives. And, um, you know, we believe that everything and everyone has value, um, just as God sees us as his So nobody's beyond redemption. No, No. nobody's beyond redemption. I, I like to use the analogy of a of a you know an aluminum can and one of our little symbols that we have is kind of a recycle symbol but you know aluminum can can be smashed on it can be thrown in the gutter you know all kinds of manner of nasty things can be all over it and you can take it put it through fire and recycle it and boom it's brand new it has use it has value just like it was before it went through all that stuff so we are a lot a lot like that um as human beings, um, regardless of you know what people's um, faith may be, there's value there. There's value to that, and so um, you know we try to be an example of that here. We try to encourage people that you know to kind of uncover that hidden athlete inside. Mm, um, that's a good phrase. And, I like that. 
and and you know we we consider everyone here an athlete. So, you know, my parents are in their um, mid sixties. They work out you know every morning when they're not on vacation in Hawaii. <laughs> and uh, Willie and Norma. Yes, yes. And uh, so we have you know twenty somethings and we have sixty somethings, and they're all athletes. Yeah, right. it's, so, it's, it's almost it just kind of just kind of touches me when you say that because I'm sure I've got thousands of people listening to this and. I'm sure some of them are thinking, well, I could never go to a place like that because I could never possibly, they would need, they'd laugh at me. And I imagine you've had some people come in here in pretty rough shape and have done pretty well. Yeah, almost, um, you know, mo- mo- we've had, you know, guys lose 80 to 100 pounds plus. Wow. Um, and we've had, you know, women who couldn't do a single pull up. Um, Doing multiple pull-ups and are strong entering you know competitions that they would never dreamed of, and I try to remind them every now and again. Remember when you couldn't do this, and they kind of smile and and remember. And it's just you see the confidence and the um, their ability to take on things, and it transfers again to life. A lot of the we call our workouts wads. W O D stands for workout of the day, and a lot of the wads are seemingly on paper insurmountable or extremely difficult to do. It might involve 100 push-ups or 100 pull-ups and 200 push-ups and 300 squats, and it's all done under time. And when they look at it, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna finish this? There's no way. And it's much like life and the problems that we deal with when we take them one at a time and little by little, step by step, and, and continue uh, going after them before we know it. We look behind us, mm-hmm. and it's behind us. We've we've come a long way and accomplished. It's got to be cool that. for people to see progress like that. Yeah, now, it I, is. I've never done anything CrossFit, and I'm I'm in uh, pretty average shape. What can I expect? Today? I'm gonna I'm actually try this today. I'm coming to your four o'clock class. So what uh, what what uh, what's going to happen? So most <laughs> what's going to happen is we're going to warm up, and um, and we're going to go over some movements some movements that we're going to use today in our workout. Um, and and kind of get you familiar with those. Um, and um, afterward, we're going to put you through either our intro workout or we might get you into the workout of the day today with the class, depending on, on how you do with the movements that we're going to use. Um, primarily, we're concerned with form and technique. Those are paramount to preventing injury. Intensity is comes after those things. Um, but you're gonna you're going to do a workout that's going to use your entire body. Um, we're not going to specialize on any body part. We're going to use you um, from head to toe. Um, your heart rate's going to get pretty high. Um, we like to use the phrase "get get comfortable with being uncomfortable." <laughs> um, our our goal is to is to, to 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 make you a little bit uncomfortable. But again first time out we like to start everybody uh relatively easy and build them up so we definitely believe in uh crawl walk and then run um because if we destroyed everybody their first visit we we really wouldn't have a a very effective right if i need a designated driver today to get home that's not (laughs) yeah that's that's not going to bode well for a, a return visit we have had mostly kids younger kids navy kids show up and um Oh, I can do this. I can crush it. And they're usually puking halfway through the workout. Are you serious? The first time wow. Yeah. Now, you work with preschool kids, and I'm sure you see a lot of kids that are really out of shape, even by preschool time. I mean, they get overfed and all kinds of things. And You know, typically, yes. In the environment, the school I work at, we are a very health-conscious oh, school okay. and environment. So um, I don't see a lot of it in my school. But it's out there. I see so many out of yes. shape kids. Yes. We always had like one overweight kid in our class, or maybe mm-hmm. two. But now it's like the rule, the not the exception. Yeah, I, you just think, is. wow, mm-hmm. how did how did this happen with the, the diet? The people people have access to so much cheap food now. That's it. Quality of food, definitely. Yeah, we're 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 one of the um, most abundant countries in food, but but remain one of the most poorly nourished. Um, because we have an abundance of of cheap food, basically. We really do. It's, it can get it anytime, anywhere. It's cheaper than making your own sometimes. Mm-hmm. So you just think, wow, you, know, you could just, it's hard not to go through the drive-thru for a buck and get some it's, fat little pill. And 
It, it, this, you talk about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's a great phrase. I, uh, I look at my cats. Our cats are outdoor cats. We have a we have a window the cats go in and out of, and they're ten years old, and they look better than most like three year old indoor cats because they're they go out and they, they do cat things. Their movement. Yeah, they jump on roofs. They do what they do. And I, I look at indoor cats, and they look terrible after just even a few years because they don't, you know, com- people come to our door and the cats go out. And they say, oh, can you let your cats out? I said, yeah. We. And if they get caught by a coyote, they get caught by a coyote. I just think you can't let cats be cats. And people need a little bit of that, too. They, they need a little bit of being uncomfortable. We're not used to that anymore. Mm-hmm. Where we've got these big, fat, lazy boy chairs, and we sit there, and we've got comfort food. We've got gigantic Everything screen TVs. Convenience. It is. Mm-hmm. It's so easy. We drive everywhere. There's no really strenuous anything you know and, and so I just I just think it's really great that you kind of push people and part of us kind of kind of gets attracted to that I, I don't know that I can do any of that stuff we'll see in a little while but but uh, you, you see these workouts like people in boot camp and stuff mm-hmm. and and I think that at least for guys maybe women too I don't know I can't speak for women but there's a kind of desire to kind of go through some of that and it yeah. becomes a mental challenge as yeah. well as a physical challenge I think, definitely I think one of the you know the biggest draws of CrossFit is um, community. It's, it's an amazing community of people. So it's, it's, so it's, it's social. It's not just oh, going to a gym and not talking to no, people. No, no, no we end much. up going on vacation with these people. We go on vacations with our members. Um, you know, they, they become friends and family. And um, so it's an extension of your your family life and your ministry in a way. Both, definitely. you know. When you definitely. see, uh, you know, guys that have gone through boot camp together, a good example or. Police Academy or, or things like that where there there's some almost common suffering if you camaraderie will. there is yeah. there's camaraderie there there's there's encouragement there come on you can make it um, you'll see people finish a workout and run out the door and go to run with someone to come back in to help them um, finish it's there's there's a lot of cheering on a lot of encouragement and, and again there's also competition there it's like, okay, I'm going to try to beat so-and-so, or I'm going to try to not let, you know, whoever's behind me catch up to me. So it's, it gives you a little something extra to push yourself that you're not going to get um, on your own, that you're not going to get by yourself, you know, on a treadmill with your headphones in. I mean, just a high percentage of the population just isn't going to push themselves as hard as they will when they have, you know, peers or people that they... Um, enjoy being around. Well, plus we need teachers. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm at the age now where I'm realizing I need. I used to want to do everything myself, fix my car myself, fix my house myself, fix everything myself, figure out my workout myself. And the truth is, I only get about a C in all those things. But you can find people like you guys who get A's in these things, and you can help us out with those things because that's what you do. And I, I, I think that's part of maturity is realizing where you need help and where you need coaching. And when you Definitely. get older, you still need that. Definitely, we're still learning. Yes. Well, you learn by teaching, don't you? Very yes. much so. <laughs> also, you, Very much you gotta so. teach it. You gotta know it. By well, teaching, by going through things. By or, teaching, yeah. By yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a big the learning process. You know, the gym, running workouts and, and training people is uh, is the easy part. Um, running a business and and doing those types of things that that's takes some learning. And and again, you you know, you fail and you look toward towards people who can help you and that's you know one thing I've learned more so doing the business and doing this is before just being totally again self-reliant I'll do this I'll fix this I'll do that and really not using the people that I have around me who are more than willing to help me out who are experts in their own rights in their fields and hey you know why don't you let them help you out and and so since we've done this, you know, and added this to our life, that's been something that's been good, you know, using other people to, to help you. Because, again, it's a vast community. We've got, you know, accountants, firefighters, law enforcement officers, um, real estate agents. Preschool teachers. Preschool yeah. teachers, nurses, um, college students, um, financial guys. It's just we've got a huge, diverse, you know, community of people that have a lot of experience in a lot of different things. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool to draw on that, you know, and, and, and use their expertise to, to help you out. And it's amazing how everyone is just so willing to help out. Well, we're going to get started in a couple minutes here. I just want to uh, – so how do people find you guys if they're in Southern California here? How do they, how do they get connected with this gym? We are in Huntington Beach, and uh, the best way would be to go to our website, uh, CrossFitRedemption.com. And you can go on there. You can find out a little bit more about us, about our coaches, about our philosophy. 
Um, there is an email uh, notification there and phone number as well. And uh, that phone number is 714-483-9258. And if you're interested, you can call and schedule a uh, complimentary introductory workout, kind of like we're going to do for you today. And But we'll probably make yours just way worse. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, and, um, and, you know, we'll give you a call and, and talk to you as an individual and kind of figure out what your needs are, again, because um, we, we all have the necessity to move. We all have the necessity to, to add strength and lean muscle mass to our bodies, regardless of our age or our gender. Um, and how we go about that is different for each individual. So we're going to meet you where you're at, at your current fitness level, and go from there. We're not going to throw you in the deep end of the pool and expect you to, to tread water. Um, so yeah, it would just be uh, shoot us an email or give us a call and um, set up a set up a workout or or see if we can answer any questions you might have and and we go from there. Well, if I survive this, I'm going to actually publish this interview okay. here today. But uh, Gabe and Melissa <laughs> Baltadano, thanks so much for the interview, and I wish you guys well as you uh, continue to help people make friends, develop themselves, and sounds like it sounds like a great way to to make a living and to also kind of live out your vocation. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So put some sunshine and water on these fresh ideas and keep taking that next step toward freedom. Join us every weekday for the latest life and liberty ideas. The views expressed on this program are purely those of the presenter and not necessarily those of the advertisers or organizations or persons with which the presenter has a relationship. Please click on the Amazon banner at the top of the Life and Liberty page, and consider doing all your online shopping through this portal. See you tomorrow.